with nearly 800 million jobs expected to be automated by AI by 2030, is construction management immune? In this video, I'll briefly break down what AI is, what jobs are most at risk, and whether construction management fits this category. Also give you some tips on what I'm doing to future-proof my career and prepare for these massive changes. When tractors first came in, in the early 20th century, there was widespread fit. If a tractor could do a hundred times the work of a farmer, well, we wouldn't need any farmers. Considering in the 19th century, 40% of people worked as farmers in the ag agricultural sector, then they were right to be scared. Today, only 2% of people work in the agricultural sector. We still produce enough food with only 2% of the population when it used to employ 40% of the population. But what happened to all these workers? Well, they moved into other industries where unique human skills were needed, like manufacturing or services. Just as tractors changed farming, AI is changing industries in ways we're still trying to understand. Fears due to job losses from technology are a recurring theme in history. And so far, they've been unfounded. But is the shift to AI different? Or is it going to be like the development of the tractor? Will new industries emerge that require unique human skills? Or is AI going to automate everything? The only honest answer anybody can give to this question is who knows. Just because historically, people's fears weren't justified around farming and tractors, doesn't mean they're not justified this time. Maybe AI is coming for all our jobs. And it's also important to understand time horizons. Just because AI is only capable of a handful of things now, what's it gonna be like in five years? What's it gonna be like in 25 years? All we can do is look at the current technology, what it's capable of, and make some inferences about the future. So what exactly is AI? AI broadly refers to systems designed to replicate human intelligence. For example, ChatGBT replicates human-like text responses, manufacturing robots replicate human-like activities, and self-driving cars replicate the capabilities of humans to drive a car. There's two main types of AI. There's task-specific AI, like a self-driving car, and then there's general AI, so a hypothetical future form of generic intelligence that can replicate all human tasks. So what jobs are most at risk of AI automation? So looking at the current capabilities of tools like ChatGBT or manufacturing robots, broadly the type of tasks that are most at risk are repetitive tasks, tasks that are data-driven or rule-based that you could teach a machine, and they need minimal creativity problem solving or human interaction. So examples would be data entry clerks, manufacturing, assembly line workers, or even some basic software coding or legal research tasks. AI excels at processing large amounts of data, following set rules, and optimizing for efficiency. Is construction management at risk? Well, construction management as the job role has some unique characteristics that make it hard to automate. The first one of these is complex decision making. Construction managers make decisions based on unique circumstances with minimal information that are not simple right or wrong answers. For example, when a supplier is delayed, what do we do? Do we enforce the contract, hit them with liquidated damages? Can we change the design to make it easier for them to manufacture the product and reduce the lead time? Or can we use some sort of temporary material in place? There are a thousand different answers to this question and they all depend on the unique circumstances of the project and a very limited set of information. In our entire career, we will have never faced this exact question before and these exact circumstances. You can't Google the answer to this question or ask ChatGPT as it's highly context specific. So the second reason construction management is hard for AI to automate and replace is a reliance on interpersonal skills. So recently I worked on a project on a major solar farm and we flew a drone over the project to perform an inspection. The workers thought we were spying on them. They thought it was some draconian way for us to monitor their progress and keep track on their work and it caused a huge drama. Even if you could completely automate 
the role of a construction manager? Would the workers in the field be happy from receiving their daily work instructions from ChatGBT or dealing with pay issues or other HR issues with an AI? On top of that, would our client who's paying for the work be happy dealing directly with an AI, giving them progress updates? Considering 90% of the job of a construction manager is communication, it seems like a pretty difficult task to outsource to an AI as it heavily relies on interpersonal skills. In the future, in a hypothetical future, when all the work's done by robots, yes, maybe you could automate that side of things, but as it stands now, considering the high human interaction of the job role, it's hard to see how AI could replace this. The next reason that it's hard to automate the role of a construction manager is the dynamic environment that construction projects operate in. AI excels in using huge amounts of data to analyze trends and make decisions based on what's available in the data. Construction projects operate in the exact opposite way to this. Construction projects are highly context specific, they're unique circumstances, no two projects are exactly the same. Something as simple as the work we're planning for next week relies on a huge amount of context specific information. Maybe we've got an upcoming client inspection or we've got a shutdown for the Christmas break. Or maybe we're receiving certain materials that we have to be ready for to install. Maybe our testing equipment is away being calibrated or our best high voltage electrician is away on holidays. Unlike a controlled factory setting like a manufacturing process, construction projects are chaotic and different every single day and construction managers rely on very small amounts of context specific information to make best for project decisions. The fourth factor that makes it hard for me to see how AI could automate the role for a construction manager comes down to risk. If you were a business manager at a construction company, would you be happy to sign off on a $100 million tender that had been produced by an AI estimator? What if the AI stuffed up the production rate for trenching or used the wrong rate to calculate steel reinforcement quantities? Wouldn't it be worth having an experienced estimator quickly check over the work? Is it really worth the minor cost savings of not paying an estimator to put the whole company at risk? Financial risks are one thing, but what about safety risks? If there's a safety incident at site, will the police and the investigation accept your excuse that ChatGBT checked over the safe work method statement and said the activity was safe to do? Risk is an inherent part of construction projects and until there's a clear justification that AI tools are better than humans by a margin, struggle to see how you can take the human out of that process. So is AI going to replace all construction management jobs? Well, in the short to medium term, it's almost impossible to see how that could happen. In the long term, who knows? What happens 20 or 30 years from now, it would be lying if I tried to give you a definite answer. What I would say to do and what I'm doing personally is I'm focusing on seeing AI as a tool, not a threat. So seeing AI like a calculator, something that we can use to enhance our job performance. Learn how to use it, learn how to apply it in your job. There's being an increasingly common catchphrase being thrown around when talking about AI and job losses. And it's that AI won't replace humans. Humans using AI will replace the humans who don't. So my strong recommendation is to see it as a tool, learn how to use it and learn how to apply it to make you a better construction project manager.